Stomaris Aerodrome, situated just south of Morden in Essex. Set in the Essex countryside are a unique set of buildings that have changed little since 1919 when the Royal Air Force left the site during the reduction in the size of the Air Force. The site still holds most of the buildings that were constructed in 1918 with the exception of the hangars the site remains unchanged since the end of the First World War. Barrack blocks are still present. The women's hostel site and reception buildings. MT sheds are still present, much in their same form, although now devoid of their white paint. Some farm buildings have been added since the war but not many this being one of them a tractor shed built by the farmer post-war on the end of the MT sheds further into the site looking round now from the main track that runs through the centre of the site we can see the start of the airfield workshops these again are in much the same form as they would have been in 1918 and they're all subject to this exciting restoration project. The MT sheds again in more detail. One pillar has been removed post-war but that will be replaced under the new restoration program. These are the workshops and what is believed at the moment to be the dope shop situated at the northern end of this set of buildings all retain their original windows and most of them retain their original fittings. Next to the dope shop we see a utility building. Looking back now on the blacksmith shop and the closer view of the second set of workshop buildings gives some idea of the atmosphere that is still left on the airfield. We're now looking towards the fuel dump and the other ranks mess on the left hand side of the track just coming into view and to the left of that the station offices. It's envisaged that the offices will become the museum under the new project and it's hoped that lectures will be able to be given inside the other ranks mess hall. This large building to the left of the offices is in fact a post-war addition, it is a grain house and under the project will be removed from the site. The water tower uh, is now in a less than uh, good state and needs restoration. This will be done under the project and this is a much better view of what we will see become the airfield museum, it originally being offices, consists of six rooms which will be restored with artifacts from the airfield and the Royal Flying Corps. This is a, a view of the officers mess which is still in place and will be restored. Between the officers mess in the open land you can see in front of you now were filled with wooden buildings, other ranks accommodation and messes and the last brick, brick, brick built building in a sorry state of repair faces out onto the airfield. The roof will be replaced sympathetically back to 1918 standards. But this will give you some idea of the task of the restoration project. On the other side of the track lay a set of buildings which consist of uh, the women's hostel and 
the reception buildings which are still in place. The women's hostel site was never completed uh, and only three of the six buildings were actually uh, erected by the end of the war. Panning round now to the three section barrack block built at the end of the war, I believe for the officers. Uh, two are open plan and one is partitioned but again all used for grain storage and farming use uh, they're connected at the end by a corridor which includes the ablutions block some of them are in a better state of repair than others and large cracks like this do appear in buildings around the airfield and underpinning will have to take place Another part of the restoration project is this open field which is ter being turned into a wildlife haven by planting wild flowers. It backs onto Hawes Wood and we'll see a public walkway, pond and other wildlife havens by the time of the uh, restoration project's end.